And the fear? Oh, almost. Anyone to follow up? Axe, are you here now? Axe, oh, he's coming! Yes, oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Axe, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, he's going. 5v1. <laughs> Spin! Oh. <laughs> and now he's finally picked up the two tomes that he took at 10 minutes and now it's 19 minutes into the game. Come on, like why? Why is this guy even playing ranked? Ursa is still thinking about what to buy next. Earthshaker's sitting behind Vipers doing the base. There's gonna be big fight breaks out here. Unfortunately, Axe has another tome of knowledge boss and he puts it into his Backpack, so it has a slower cooldown. Watch, it ticks slower. See, it's like half the speed. It's 222 seconds multiplied by two. 450 seconds nearly until he has the next dome ready. Oh my god. <laughs> this is. This could be turning point if they know that Roche is going on. Most of the time, they don't realize this. Ursa's... Ursa's scared now. He has... He's losing the Fury Swipe stacks. Oh, Lich doing the MVB play. And... Oh, Viper dies. Finger. Ursa's dead. Big Echo. Oh! Yes, there we go. The Molnir Proxy Emolt and Urchikra's Echo. And meanwhile, Axe is teleporting back to the fountain. To pick up his 38 minute blink dagger. <laughs> 38 minute blink. That's a new record. An abyssal blade. He's literally just AFK farmed for 40 minutes now. Let's see how he uses this blink. This will be interesting. So now he's waiting. He's battle ready guys. He's battle ready. It only took 39 minutes. Just let me farm one more camp. <laughs> and you have to have 100 hours to play rank. First good call. Oh, and the blade used at the end. So he's actually using his item. I don't think he blinked for that either. He used his blink to get out. <laughs> Watch Lion flaming him. Lol, Axe, he went to the fountain. You're going tier fours. Is Axe gonna pull off a big play here? Is this why the game goes on so long? Will Axe do it? Will he turn this around? Oh no! <laughs> He could even blink a Bissell Blade. That's faster than calling as well. He's genuinely going back to the fountain. And now he's bought an Orb of Venom. And didn't he start earlier with Tranquils? And now he has Treads. He sold his boots and bought... Tra <laughs> oh god, guys. I don't know. Off the play of his dreams. Ursa, still no boots. He almost got scatty. Tier 4, and Axe is teleporting back. He's coming for it. Oh, we already got an initiation here from Lich. Can Axe follow up? The Molnir procs are cancelling his blink. Oh, come on Axe, you can blink. You just call, call, call. You can do it. Yes, he pressed it. Boom, spin. Yes, we got it. Earth is dead too. And Seeker. And Earthshaker is getting tower hits chasing him. Can he get away? Is he gonna die? Oh, he blinks to disjoint the attacks. What a player. We got Axe making his MVP impact here. Turning this game around just before the fountain. He was about to die. He starts playing. Once they, once they take a tier four, he's gonna start joining fights. You can sacrifice tier one. You can sacrifice a tier two. A tier three, no bother. You wanna take a Rax? You can do that. You wanna take a ranged Drax? You can do that too. You take my effigy? Mm, that's okay. Take my tier 4. Oh hell no! Our E-Blade and Illusion. 
they're taking Roche and when Viper uses Nether Toxin on Roche you can see this particle effect so this is what's caught them here and Axe blinks across the river to see if there's an illusion rather than thinking about Roche so he's buying his item to put into his backpack rather than going for Roche like this guy is totally disconnected from what's going on is he gonna buy a teleport? He buys a teleport, 22 seconds, he's standing in the trees. Got, oh, Echo Slam here, out, PL has a BKB now, but the rupture, or no, that was Bounty Hunter he got. PL's still going, oh, this Lich all, wow, Lich is actually such a good player. People talk about support can't gain you MMR. I think support is probably the best hero to gain MMR in the lower brackets because everyone wants to play the heroes that do damage. And Lich can literally just take out one good ult, can take out two, three heroes, no problem. And they don't buy BKBs. Like, Earth has no BKB, no boots. Like, how easy it is to kite that. And then once BKB is used on Bloodseeker, you can just catch all the rest of them. Okay, here's the fight. Ursa's ulting. Ursa used his ult here. It's down. Axe is hitting tier 4. He's sitting in the break. He has blade mail. He's actually gonna do a load of damage now. And he doesn't call there. CM ults. Right. Er, he's ulted now by Viper. And we have what heroes this bloodseeker he got fingered by a lion lion dies ursa picks up the kill shaker is bouncing around he doesn't have buyback that's shaker down for a hundred seconds now ursa is here he's feared and bloodseeker has to go in man fighting them but he doesn't have bkb now so this is where it gets questionable axe also got picked up he does have buyback lion has buyback I doubt they're gonna use it. Viper is silenced here. There's a hell lot of blade mails going on in this fight. And PL is in the back line. Bounty's taken down. Oh, this Lich is actually so much better than the average players in this match. TP's out. Bloodseeker is getting caught here by the defusal. Burning his mana. He's dead now. Now PL is just around. And the PL is Guardian or whatever, so he's. He's a little bit better than the other players, but I think he's like, what was it, Guardian 4 something? So, Ursa is getting Kaisha yet again, and this fear from Lich works out, and the Axe ends up winning this game. Imagine. Easy. <laughs> Easy, guys. Easy. <laughs> Do you want to know what, right? When Axe pulled off that call at his tier 4, I think that actually turned the game around. That was around tier. See where the network goes down. <laughs> That's when Axe got the call.